Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Or is it? What is meat? Is blood meat? Am I meat? Nice to meet you. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I've gotten so lost. I have been waiting many a day now to play what the people in the comment section initially described as Gene Gasha. Or however it is you pronounce that word. Well, I'm not chronically online. I actually take showers and I'm not a sweaty Genshin Impact player. We turn slurry into jeans. We turn blood into slurry. We turn people into blood. But we have ran out of people. And just when I was running out of hope, Randy has Uber Eats us over some deserters. So I think we, um, oh, my monument. Please don't destroy that. Oh, I built the fences! I'm unstoppable at this game now. You can't contain me. Okay, okay, we're almost there. One more leap. One more leap. Is this one necessary? Absolutely not, but it's angry. And what has she ever done that's necessary, huh? She is flex incarnate. Give me that Upsy Daisy Vampire Healy Power. We're ready for battle. We're not. She's like half dead. Hey, fly. Cliff Racer, fly. Be free. Is that another quest complete? Caravan lost. Bruh. Oh, it's the person we captured. Oh, thank God. I was like, bye, hands gone forever. Toe Zuckle, if you smash my sarcophagus. Shit. Hey, don't do that. Wait, is it any part of the monument is destroyed or it's only when it's built? Right, you have to worry about it being destroyed. God, I hope so. Otherwise, we're in a lot of trouble. Hey, I've got another problem. I filled this with too many turrets. Now my people can't stand there. Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, uh, I was trying to rearrange it so we get the Malak characters front and center, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. Lilu. Lilu, I have, I have plays. I have plays. Look at the size of that person. I have plays. Jump. Hold. Stinky cloud. Lilu. Oh, Lilu. That's right. I know how to press buttons now. You never... Downed. Okay, well, it was a good idea. <laughs> Kidnap who they can and leave. Nah, I don't think so. Uh, combat command from someone. We got like three people that can do it. How is this so complicated? Volka? You're here. Uh, come, come, combat command. Oh, it's on cooldown, shit. Funny I hadn't used all these abilities. And green, she's here. Combat command. Boom. And then let's jump you into the middle so that we can give everybody the buff. And then you shoot the person kidnapping Lulu. Beautiful. Oh, amazing work. You smashed my sarcophagus, but we didn't fail the quest, so that's okay. Oh, come on. Come on, we need this top up. We're going to just have to go rush in there and grab them, I think. Go. Oh, there were way more than that. That looked way harder when I... <gasps> oh. Oh, no. Lulu's fine. Lulu's not going to die. Lulu's not going to die. Okay, here's the plan. Here's the plan. Um... Kill that one. We, we kill that final one, and then we rush. Oh, and can deal with that one person by themselves. Everyone else, let's rush at the top as fast as we can. Let's just, like, hold this bridge. Anne's got combat command. That's, like, the worst character to send. Okay, sorry. Anne's gonna go... <laughs> it's very early today. I'm recording very early for a change. Oh. Oh, the show. What are you doing? Are you, you're trying to kidnap Lilu. Mona comes out of the smog like some sort of demon. Oh, great work. Look at that, Mona. You did... Fantastic. I don't think she did anything. I think that was the gas. And the prison's fantastic. It's like very high quality. You see, I started installing furniture because I care about my prisoners. Luckily, they're only going for the key targets like embrasures and sandbags. It's no wonder you people were kicked out of the empire. My God, I understand what the word deserter means, okay? Well, that's a good start. <laughs> Tipar goes up that side. Pierpost goes up that side. They're, I think we've got to move forward. I was going to like try and stand our ground, but... They're not coming over here. Oh, no, no, no. We need to capture some of these people. Please stop killing them all. Oh, please stop killing them all. Oh, that's it. They're all dead. Well, that was bloody easy. Well done, team. Oh, sweet, precious cups. Just as we get deserters. Now I've got to choose Gene Gatcher or... Which is, again, a fantastic name. Or trying to keep these deserters as trophies for my gallery. I think the Empire would love that. Same the Empire as if we're not, like, fist deep. We're not a separate faction. Like, we're, we're in there now. Ah, science. Really, really great work. We got a lot of people from that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoa. I really did want to look over here now that you mention it. I, I just couldn't couldn't see myself doing it before, but now you've forced it on me. Hello. Uh, a low mate. 11-year-old low mate. Nah, I'm not touching that one, Chief. You're on your own. Stay it together, children. We are out of resources. That's correct. Totally out of steel again. <laughs> so we're going to take um whatever money I've got left over. Actually, we've got a fair amount here. Why aren't we loading these into the banks though, huh? The whole gene pack. Yeah, well, like load them into the banks. What do we get from all of that then? Let's have a look here. Oh, we actually got ageless. Oh, sick. Oh, we got doesn't eat. Oh, well, surely that means we could go just like butt wild with metabolic complexity then. Foodless is a different one as well. 
The stains without needing to eat food. Oh. Anima Affinity, Grand Line Affinity, Pollux Affinity. I've got to give all of those to Mona. Can we give all of them simultaneously? They're not like mutually exclusive, right? Carnivore, Hemosmosis, Xeno Reconstruction. Okay, nothing massive yet. Well, I mean, arguably, we've got the most important thing possible early on. So I'll, I think I'll take that. Yeah, our current metabolism would also be really, really good. Maybe it's just me, but this also looks like it flies significantly faster than the other one, too. Which is pretty good, because we're going to start here and work our whole way around. What have we got to build all the drain packs, all the extra equipment for the lab? We've got to build more defenses. I think that's, I think that's reasonable, right? I'm going to have to go, like, all in on this. <laughs> we're going to have to just buy everything we can get our hands on. My name is Chef Hand. Oh, I said I wanted royalty. What the hell is Scarlet Edge? What is that from? Melee animation. Oh. The winner of this weapon feels compelled to wear a dark trench coat and answer questions with a grunt. Oh. Unlocks a special skill animation. Mona. <laughs> Mona. I've, I, I've been sleeping on you for too long, my friend. That's so much faster. Oh, my God. What a game changer, eh? I should have bought just more, like, stuff to sell. I didn't think it would be... Didn't think it would be this rapid. Okay, can I even... Can I even afford all of this? We need a lot of plasteel. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this, right? And mental break points. Actually relatively sensible. Actually completely standard. Bazroto's fine. Toomgi's fine. Mona's? What the hell do you mean that her mental break threshold is 2%? Her extreme mental break threshold is 0.29%. That's like almost impossible. And I don't understand why she's like so powerful? Unbreakable Mona, like actually unbreakable. I've been saying Anne's the unbreakable one, but no, Mona's like, Anne's like the unstoppable force, and Mona's like the immovable object. Oh no, she's so cool. <laughs> oh, don't do that, that's even cooler. Um, and the Plasto Longsword's been with us for so long. I feel like I need to do something special with this. I feel like I need to put it on display. Uh, we, we have like a display stand of some description, right? It's like Plinth Legendary, we've already made one! Oh god, I love cups. God, I love cups. Oh, I love the growth ray weapons. Don't get me wrong, but holy shit. It oh, my secret skeleton room. You can't look at that. That's my secret project. The empire is desperate for resources, so I'm going to make a rare exception to being turned into a hemogen farm or being turned into a very lovely statue for my gallery. Anybody with good mining skill is absolved. If they join the empire willingly, we will let them go. Uh, Flirt is pretty good, but they're a waster. So the problem we got with wasters is they die. Um, <laughs> which to be fair is true of every human being. However, these people have the psychite dependency, which means if we send them to the place, we don't, they will just die because their psychite need will run out. So, uh, we could cure them. But, uh, hello, my friend. Oh, you're actually all right at mining. You've got a passion in it. And that's good enough for me. Remember, we're the good guys. We only allow people to do work that they have a passion in, that they care about, that they want to do. However, um, I'm gonna have to try and get rid of that psychite dependency. Wonder if there's a tool we could use just to <laughs> just to rip out like that one gene. Something called a Xeno discombobulator. Chaotically shifts around all Xeno genes into any possible genes their metabolism can sustain. We need to turn endo genes into Xeno genes and then replace the Xeno type, right? I'm not mad. Um Whoa, 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 whoa. Gene integrates turns all Xeno genes to endo. And we need to kind of do the opposite if that's possible. Sort. Hello. Uh, mining 15.73. Double passion, my friend. Good God. Okay, okay. You are going to be very, very helpful. Um, let's have a look here. So, uh, mining three. Okay, that's not really what I'm after. Mining one. Oh, God. Why has no one got any bloody mining skill? Wow, they're terrible. Oh, this is just unbelievable. I can't believe that. Oh, my God. I need to. Yeah, okay, so those are the only two good mining characters, and even that's kind of debatable, because Flutter's has got, like, what? Six mining? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll stop that. Uh, the Xeno Discombobulator randomizes uh, Xeno, Xeno genes and not Endo genes. I don't know how to fix these people. We could use, say, like, a gene integrator, and we could turn... We, we could replace their Xeno type. The easiest way, of course, would be to bite them with an, but that's not happening. Not really what you want to hear from your doctor, is it? I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Don't panic. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Let's test this on one of the less valuable subjects. Uh, I mean, p patience. Bishop, come here. Uh, let's go uh, use on you. And bazinga. Okay. Yep, that didn't help at all. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> we could just like random those. We could randomize them using the. Oh, oh you know what? Let's try it. You're, you're now my guinea pig. This person is willing to lay down his life to try and find a cure for 
his waste of friends. Whether he likes it or not. Okay, let's see what happens here. Oh, he's turned into a... He's turned into a P-man. Hello. Uh, psycho dependency has gone. How have I done it? Oh, because he's already got it here. Fuck. <laughs> I thought I'd rolled gold then. God damn you. Well, I would say let's send the scientist to go raid a lab, see what we can find. But all the scientists are down. So I'm going to send P-Squad, our kind of shock troops here. I think they can probably handle it. Ooh. I cut Jim back immediately. Deathless. Hello. Tomboy, my friend, we might be able to save you yet. Yeah. hell is that thing? Gym pack disruptor. Ooh. A generic toolkit capable of acting upon an existing gym pack, alpha pack, or mix pack, deleting a random gym present on it. Oh, cool. Wow, I was basically asked for that exact thing yesterday. That's crazy. Nothing really valuable here, so I guess we'll just move on. I say that as if I just didn't find immortality. Hold your horses there, Mr. Hands. Uh, can we... Oh, if we pick up the samurai helmet. Pick up the samurai helmet. And then if we change the style on that, I can change that into an Egyptian style helmet, right? Perfect for Brendo, who's currently death resting. Whenever anyone's down and they're not injured, just presume they're death resting, okay? Go. And that should be, oh. Oh. I just think we go back to the first idea. There's nothing really massive here. Plasteel skin's kind of fun. What is that? Gene pack tweaker. Capable of acting on an existing gene pack. Adding a new random gene to it. Oh, that's fun. But the Empire has plenty of enemies, of course. Hello. How are you? Are you a vampire we haven't got? Half vampire. Well, that's a bit boring. They kind of leave. Oh, my deathless gene pack. Hello, you useless prick. Get him. Stop him. Stop him. Stop him. Stop him, though. I, I put that down, you prick. I put that down. Put that down. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Get him. Kill him now. Hello. Goo. Goo him. Goo him. No. Oh! I've just given that half vampire the secrets of sangri sanguifage power. That's it. I'm never coming to a lab again. I hate it here. That was enough fun for one day. <laughs> Sorry, I just don't think with the research we've got, I can cure these people. So I guess we'll, we'll blitz through a little while, but I can't keep them around forever because they're just going to die. So I'd rather them at least die mining for Anne. <laughs> with a good guys. What the fuck is going on out here? Hello? Oh. Hello. Well, nice to see you, I suppose. Suffering from success. Uh, the, the higher the rank we get, the more often we're going to have to deal with bloody deserters coming with trade caravans trying to kill us all. So we were actually running out of power again. Probably something to do with the fact that I built an entire genetics lab and like a load of turrets and all sorts of things. Turned on some more uh, hydroponics so that we could get some wood. Uh, so I decided to build some, some water mill generators. Hopefully that'll keep the lights on. But even then, look at our grid excess. It's like a thousand at most. Ooh. Monument complete. That's exactly what I wanted the wood for, so that worked out pretty well. I had to buy a load from Bolt Goods Traders. Use one of these, like, 220 or something like that. 280, that's it. Now, Anne has some other cool powers that I haven't looked at yet. Number one, we can bestow our, uh, the, the freeholder rank on a character. Now, Cups is going to be the leader of the artist faction, so, of course, I think we have to... Uh, I, I think we give them that particular honor. Here you go, my friend. Anne is the bestower now. Oh, look at everyone gathered around. You could have stood in front of the throne rather than behind. It's a bit weird. There you go. Listening to Anne's speech. Damn, this is cool. So that way, we've got all of our faction leaders now set up as... Well, except for uh, Brando, but we haven't really done much with that yet, right? Well, somebody did say it would be a cool idea to get Pierpos Petit Pois at least up to knights. They are Anne's grandchildren, and they are... I mean, literally knights. I could see that. I think that'd be kind of a fun idea. Royal address. Uh, we could do that. Sure. And then we've also got a throne speech. The royal address uh, will give us honor if it's good, right? For each titled participant. One, two, three, four, five people. I feel like we might as well just give that a go right now, huh? Um, why, why can I not just tell you to be able to go stand in front of the throne? What's wrong with you? And boom. Oh. I was going to say, I think someone just got some... Just got an upgrade there. Oh, shit. Nice one, Evolka. You just went up two ranks in a row there. Look at that. Oh, shit. Now we're out of gold. I can't win. Please, I just need some jeans, slurry, my guy. I think we send Anne on a trading expedition to the Empire. She's the only one that can really trade with them. She's got the highest social impact. But if we visit the Empire, we can sell all the desserts ramen. That's worth a bloody fortune. So let's take all of this crap with us. We are going to blast all the way over to the other side of the planet. The Imperials actually founded a new city called Jerusalem. Why not build any batteries? Well, that was very silly. <laughs> 7,000 hours, by the way. It's not really relevant when you've got consistent power, right? These things aren't going to fluctuate while we've got food. These things aren't going to fluctuate while we've got 
Um, well, ever, because they're cryogenerators. We just got to deal with the cold, right? These things aren't ever going to fluctuate unless the river dries up, which it can't. So I think we're, I think we're fine. It's okay. It's one of those situations that I can kind of get away with it. But if I do decide to turn something on or get some extra power, uh, or, or throw down some extra machines without you know, building up the power grid a little bit. Might have been a bad idea to get a safety net. Please, God, tell me you sell gold, and please tell me... You oh, they'll buy the deserter gear. We're set. 28,000. That'll do. Okay, I'll take your gold. Obviously, we can't sell them all of that. That's a little ridiculous. Marine armor would be good, because then I could give uh, the, the spooky fella his... You really don't have any at all. Prestige Marine Hammer. That's okay. They might have some in another settlement. Oh, hello. Super glotting, attractive, darkness improved, melee, and branchy mistletoe plant. All of those very good for Mona. I don't think she can have, like, multiple, like, plants, but that's okay. We'll figure something out. Side trainer for craft siren. Sure, I'll take that and give it to Anne. That's fine. And then we'll head home, because that's it. We've run out of stuff to trade, but I think that should keep us going for bloody ages. But, like, I spent all day doing nothing, so we're going to speed run some stuff now. Number one, Brendo. Uh, we're going to rename Brendo in a second. Brendo, here. We're going to say change style on this, and we're going to go for the comedic one. Oh. This is the return of Tech Mate, my guy. It's been so long. And then boom, there you go. Brando, get down here. Get this stuff equipped. Oh, that is amazing. And do I have the name for you, Brando? This is the perfect names from the names list I could have found. Inked Sphinx. Oh, legendary pottery. Wait. Oh, and a legendary sight carving. The title is The Intellectual Skills of Oscar. This work depicts Oscar being knocked unconscious out of bleed necessity. An adventurer watches silently in the distance. There's a gaggle of salmon. This representation tells the story of the harming of Oscar. Just screenshot that. <laughs> Let's just tidy up some tasks I've had going for a long time here. Number one, we've got the final two quests for uh, this weapon, which we... Oh, no, the last three quests for this weapon, which we may or may not use. Again, I might just slap it in a reliquary. It's a very fancy cryo uh, rifle, not crypto, but cryo. And they've got such a small range. This is a cryo rail gun, though, so you presume it'd be pretty great. And we've got right now there is crowd control, so maybe like a slow firing weapon isn't isn't in the in the cards whether we use it or not i want it either way right so let's send the p squad i'm gonna send mona i'm not gonna send that i'm gonna send mona mona needs her time to shine oh shit a slave trader um i'm gonna buy and free these people i think because i'm the good guy but also like if you had some mining skill that'd be good oh do i really want to take on a child oh um bowman bowman are you any good have a duty to prove that I'm the good guy. So I'm going to buy them all, even though there's a massive pain in my ass. Psychite Impervious! I didn't even know that existed. What the hell? Wait, Psychite Impervious? What does that do? Cavits of June never get addicted to Psychite. They cannot overdose on Psychite. They cannot build a tolerance to Psychite. Would that get rid of the Psychite dependency? Oh, God. I think I just sent all those people to die. Shit. Well, I'll take your death rest capacity serums too. Oh, you got a lot of those. I need to start using them. Oh, God. Help me. Okay, okay. That's close enough. Good enough. Thank you. Appreciate that. Welcome, Vitula, Counselor of Anne's Empire. Where did you come from originally? Are you Imperial? If we release you, will we get any... If we, like, emancipate, the return to the Shattered Empire. Oh, shit. Well, that's great. And then Manuel is Outlander Union, so get released, absolutely, emancipate them as well. And then Bowman is going to be sent off to, very, very good at shooting. I think we'll send Bowman off to the, um, to the kind of guard city that we've got going on, the mercenaries that are keeping order in the realm. Oh, I said that we would turn Ink Sphinx Faction, the Egyptian vampires, which I'm only making because the concept of Egyptian vampires is very cool. I said I'd turn them into colony guards, and you're very good at shooting. An ex-Starfighter pilot. You know what? Get bitten stinky. Welcome aboard. Hello. Don't mind us. <laughs> Just here to look at your terminal. You know how it goes. It's amazing. That's the best landing I've ever seen. Holy shit. Well done, squad. Um, I'll get him sliced. Get him, get him sliced. Mona, do the hacking. Yes. Yes, I'm the good guy. Yes, we could take all of them prisoner. Nice, nice. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Set to load. Um, can I just grab these? Can I? Can I just grab these people? Uh, I'd like to grab these people though. Oh, I think to also load it like this, you have to not have any hostiles on the map, right? Oh, what's a few more hostiles? Go on, slice them to bits. Want to see this animation that Mona's got with her, with her sword? Does it do like fancy stuff? Oh, whoa! It's got like a weird. A weird darkness effect on it. Very edgy. Hello, friends. I don't suppose any of you are good at mining. Wow. 
<laughs> well, okay then. We could always turn them into pee people, don't forget. And we could train the pee people up to be good at mining and then send them to put in charge of the cities. Um, yeah. Let's get them sent. Wow, that worked out really well. Thank you. I thought there was only like a few seats on that. I guess we just loaded them into the cargo bay. Goodbye. Thank you. Please take off. Okay, quest complete. Complete the quest secret computer. How many more have we got? We got one more up there. And jump. Uh, sorry. Bowman refuses to become a dislike Xenotype. Oh, Bowman, you bigot. Okay. Um, I, mean, I suppose we could try a conversion ritual. That could probably work quite well. Let's just get Tomboy up here. I feel like Tomboy's... Oh, wait, who was our converter? It was Mona, right? Jesus. Okay, hold on. First things first. <laughs> There's so much to do. Oh, shit. Now the prison's rammed. Ooh, unwaveringly loyal, a gift. Ah, gift. Get them to the drain casket. Ah, there was someone else who was unwaveringly loyal. Who was it? Hey, tell me who you are. You. Go to the drain casket. I think they're actually all built. All four of them now? Yeah, there we go. So we have one, two, three, four, five legendary statue bases. Are any of these people useful, or should we just turn them all into drain caskets slash slash statues for the gallery? You know what we should do? I should be looking for people who are beautiful to turn into uh, to turn into gallery exhibits. They're all hideous. Okay, um, they're all kind of crap too. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to start moving them over to drain caskets. I uh, randomly. Why? Why? What? What? I swear these people are disappearing from the drain caskets. One, two, three. What's happening? I feel like they're being nabbed by someone. Just like dropping them on the way there. I don't get it. I don't get it. I've definitely dragged over more than four people at this point, Anne. It's already been the bearer of bad news. I think I'm going to sell all but one of the Vargulfs. All but the named one because we're not using them for anything. They're just eating all of the humogen. Or all of the blood in the stop pass specifically. So I think we can say goodbye. We'll keep Stormy. Stormy 71. An old and venerable Vargulf. I'm going to pick the weirdest looking ones to become statues. So you get to die. Sorry about this, but, um, whoa, you will make a great statue. Um, I, I need to kill you so that we can resurrect them as a thrall and then store them in the statues. Either that or we recruit them. I'm not recruiting deserters. That feels wrong. And problem solved. Okay. And then we bring you back with our necromancy. Uh, all my transport parts have arrived. Oh, no, not now. Not now. I was in the middle of such important stuff. Okay, whatever. We'll, we'll worry about this in a second. Oh, cursed. They're stuck in a wall. Ah, oh, can we can we get you out of the wall? Hey, there you go. You'll be up. Uh, and just knocks her out for an hour. She'll be back up. Then we store her in the statue, right? And then let's go for... You look pretty fun. I like your hair. Goodbye. Okay, problem solved. And then another... How long's that on cooldown for? 8.3 days. Oh, no. I should have started work on my statue project a lot sooner. Um, shit. Avalka, come and eat this corpse for me. <laughs> Bogs. Oh, Lord, I just left them unattended. They were attacked by bugs. Well, I mean, they can deal with it. Hey, stand your ground. There we go. There we go. Mona, get, get back over here. Ah, careful. Oh, what do you mean someone's been beaten to death? Oh, all these bloody prisoners. It's almost like I'm keeping them in squalid conditions or something. Careful, careful, careful. Tease it, tease it, tease it. Ooh, quest complete. Oh, that was it. That was it. We're, we're good. We're good. Let's leave. Where's the spaceship? Where's the, where's the, where's the spaceship, though? Where's the carryall? Carry, what's it called? Ox carryall? Where the fuck's the spaceship, though? They smash it and I just didn't notice? That seems a bit bullshit. Oh. Well, enjoy the walk home. <laughs> oh, Christ, they can't even walk home because they're carrying too much stuff. <laughs> you drop your clothes as well. Sorry, it's a necessary evil. What can I say? I think I've bitten off slightly more than I can chew. We've got so much going on. That's a whole empire. We turned this into a grand strategy game. I've never played those before. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? I built a new frigging carry-all now. That's 150 gold I'm never going to get back. Oh, we should put them in the statue in their deserter armor. That would be kind of cool. I think I'm up for this. Uh, I'm sure we've got plenty stashed away somewhere. Somewhere? Deserter. Oh, we've got none left. Okay, well, live your life. We shall call this one Deserter's Laid Bear. A legendary quality statue. Wow. Um, how much? How much beauty bonus is that, though? 403, good God. I mean, it's the same as not having anything on the stand, but it's a bit more impactful to have, like, a, a physical human being in Tomb Forever in a statue of blood. That's a that's a flex. That's a really nice flex. What was a bigger flex? Like a pyramid? How do I make a pyramid again? It's been a long time since Jerry Egypt. Um, oh, I didn't make it like the art table. 
I want to ask about the physics on that, but we've got just the person for the job. Cups, I need like a whole pyramid. Pyra. Have we not got the research? It's a stone cutting. Oh, I wonder if it's locked between your idea uh, to an ideology. G grand pyramid? Hollow projection. Complex furniture. Oh, no. Pyra. P pyramid. Am I going nuts? Oh, no, no, no. Not like this. Pyramid. P pyramid. Pyramid. You don't make it the art table anymore. I thought I thought that changed. Am I going crazy? Pyramid. Oh no. Oh, curses. We can accept the title. The gardener. Plants going over decays. Or the daughter of Anne. Opinion of Anne about Mona is locked at 100. Opinion of Mona about Anne is locked at 100. I like that so much that I'm taking it. That's a cool mechanic. Holy shit. You like actually a Stellar? Because I'm not sure I'm... Oh, no, it was just the Stellark asking for a favor. Wow, you are terrible. No, I feel like I'm going to expand the prison. <laughs> we always seem to have quite a significant amount of people, huh? What? I feel like I'm going insane. Oh, my God, were they from that bloody goods trader that came in? I need to keep a much closer eye on every trader that's on the map now. I'm just going to throw down turrets everywhere. Actually, how are our turrets coming along? Oh, defenses. Holy shit, I've actually done it. My god, I'm gonna throw down a couple more up here, I think. This is quite a large. It's quite a large area to cover with only three turrets. I think we need pillboxes. I think we need pillboxes, and I think we need more defenses because this is getting out of hand a little bit, eh? Um, I'm gonna throw some down on the river. That's kind of fun. As long as they don't block the as long as they don't block the turbines, that's all good. This is absolutely insane. I don't think I've ever had this many prisoners. I don't think I've had this many prisoners in the last year of series. Let alone in, in, like, just this series alone. This is nuts. I love the idea that, obviously, I'm starting to work on Mona's death rush chamber. Because, again, I want to focus a bit more on Mona here. Uh, throwing down this hemodynamic accelerator, basically, at the start of the episode, but didn't connect it up to the grid. I love the idea that the prisoners can be lying there in their, quite frankly, luxurious beds. They can hear the blood flowing in the walls. No, no, yeah, fair point. That's the other thing we've got to do. We've also got to assign the honors to people as well. So let's go to Anne. What, how much can we uh, assign to you here? Actually, can we assign to Tomboy this one? Destroy the Hounds of Her scene. Gives 10% trade price improvement with everyone, right? Then, Freeholder of Blood Gulch. Uh, let's swap that to Anne. So you can have this one. First of his name. Every noble has a plus five opinion about this plant. Can we give her, like, lots? Oh, we can give her just loads. And then we've got the Chef, which I can't really give to anyone useful, I don't think. Cooking skill never decays. Who am I going to even give that to? Um... Mona had some cooking skills. I suppose that's something. Funny there was a way to get free resources more consistently than just kidnapping people all the time, huh? Funny there was some sort of button that we could just, like, press and... Oh, we can bestow honors on people. Oh! Bestow the penny. Oh, we have, to, we have to bestow them to her. I see you don't just, like, assign them. It's the Empire. Weird and eccentric. There's a lot of crap. Um, okay, so let's call, like... Let's actually call this stuff in for the first time ever in my life. <laughs> ah, a kind gift is not really that much. And Mona is going to be the bestower. Oh, that's fun. Oh, I like that. Yeah, there you go. And boom, bestow successful. Okay, oh, you can have yours as well. I mean, it's not really much point, but we might as well. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, the prisoners are escaping. The prisoners are all escaping. Kill them all, I suppose. Kill them all. Let's see. Uh, you know what? Let's, they've got to come through this front door. So let's just stand here and glow the lot. Go, go, go. Careful, careful, Toomgi. Careful, Toomgi. Come on, let's see you escape. Let's see you escape. Come through this door. Let's just leave the front door open. Things get out of there. <laughs> is this cruelty? Yes. Yes, it is. But I'm so sick of these bloody prisoners. Masterclass, I think, in... How to deal with prison escapologists. Was exceptionally lucky that they chose the worst time ever to try and escape. That was pretty good. Complete yeoman ceremonies. Let's get these sorted as well. Today's a lot of spring cleaning. I keep saying genetic engineering and then we never have enough Imogen to make it happen. Free holder Ivalka. There you go. Oh, sorry. Acolyte. Of course, she jumped a uh, com uh, completely separate rank. And then we've got our uh, Tomboy. That's right. We are in so deep into the Empire at this point. We are the Empire. We're indivisible. I, I, I should just say us. And boom. There it is. Wow. Wow. Loads more honor for gathering 18 spectators. We've got so many different nobles in the colony now that we should just be generating honor over time, right? And a conversion ritual for Bowman. I'm not... I've, I've forgotten everything I've got to do. There's just so much. 
There's just so much. Well, should we even. It's even worth trying that. Should we just blast them with the scepter? Oh, I don't have the bloody scepter anymore. All right, just give it a go. See what happens. Ooh, very spooky. A frightening occasion. Look at all of our bloody people. They are unhinged. What a spooky time. Terrible. Oh, for fuck's sake. Mona. Okay, that's okay. I've got loads of... I keep remembering more and more stuff we've got to do. And th today is the spring cleaning episode, okay? We've just got to do... Equip that... I genuinely thought I said ingest Lothar Antler. Good Lord. <laughs> How hungry can you be? Yes. Yes. Does she need 26 death rice capacity? Probably not. Oh, my God. There's more there. There is more there. We're going to fill our room up. Not so that it looks hideous, you know, like I've done in prior series, like that horrible lab I built in Catharsis. We're not doing that. It has to look aesthetic, but we'll find a reasonable limit for it, too. Then we apply the tech prints. There you go. We're out of power. Everything is calm and fine. We're all good here. What the hell do I do? We've got no steel. I can't carry around to get more steel because the ship was destroyed by insects, I think, but I'm not sure. So we're going to have to wait for a bog goods trader or someone to turn up. In the meantime, we could just hold out until we get a delivery, which is in like another day and 10 hours. So that's all good. So we build the ship. That gives access to more resources. We build the... Oh, the prison. Oh. It's fine. Don't panic. Don't panic. Then we need a bunch of... Oh, a bunch of sandbags to finish the fucking turrets. Get the turrets online that we don't have to worry about deserters. We've got, oh, we've got to worry about this thing for like a year. Otherwise, uh, we, we'll miss out on the honor because it turns out the quest is defend it for a year, which is terrible. Awful, awful quest. We've got to finish the final quest for this one. We have to get and her next ranks. It's been a long time in the process. we got we got to convert and then bite Bowman. Yes, of course, I remember. How could I forget? Then maybe one day. How are we looking? Still no hemogen in the vats. It's all being slurped down. We've got no power, so I can't even help me. We've got 17 out of 60 gene slurry. And I'm not even crafting anything. Oh, God, we need so many more people. Here's my plan. Because I feel like I'm going to go muffalo mad if we keep playing. I need to come up with a game plan. A structured, sensible game plan. Because every time I say, let's do some gene packs. Let's do some gene forging. I get a spanner thrown in the works. Whether that's deserters. Whether that's a prison overflowing with people. Whether that's no power, no resources, no hemogen. I don't know. Okay? But we're going to figure this out. Tomorrow I'm going to come back and I'm going to be the Focus Lord. Whatever that means. <laughs> Turns out it's really complicated running an empire, huh, Anne? This has gotten out of my control so quickly, but my god. I will make it work, I promise. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna have to delegate some tasks. And I promise everything will be fine tomorrow. I'm, ta I'm ta probably telling this to myself, by the way. You can believe me or not. That's up to you. But this is for my, this is my benefit. Thank you, of course. To the patrons for being here, for existing, for for sticking with me through these difficult, tough times. Don't forget to go watch that video I put up on Patreon. It's an hour long of me rambling. Lots of people are saying, um, uh, there was some discussion in Discord from people who were like, uh, uh, you know, I really want to watch the video, but I can't support on Patreon because, like, you know, I live in a place that doesn't have PayPal or things like that. It, it's literally just 60 minutes of me rambling about channel plans, future series, whatever. The video is public. Um, I put a, oh, it's all listed on the second channel specifically. I put a link to it on the Discord, so if you want to go grab it from there. Or, or I'll pin a comment here, I suppose. But it's just, it's not that interesting. To be honest, I want people like supporting the Patreon just for that, because it's not worth it at all. Thank you, though, to those of you who have supported the Patreon, including Harpio, Delusional Khan, Amazilla, Toxin, Kyle, Soul, Simothy, Jimothy, Dust, Somber, Apoc, Shinjian, Mark, Spectre, Shadow, I Can't Say, Suka, Kuka, Punga, Alex, Dimitri, Roan, Gigi, Leopold, Multi, Mika, Malaki, Gamerman7799, and Pine Us, or maybe Pine US. No, that's definitely Pine Us. Thank you. Pine all of us. Pine all of us indeed. Thank you to Ace of Hearts, Pooza McPoozington, Andrew McKinnon, Derpin8, Rhino3333, Thomas Holt, Clogged Artery, Snake Farts, Arminus, Thromash, Lieutenant Smokin, Linus L, Asgaran, J520,000, Yanosh, and Roughshot. How am I going to edit this into a watchable video? That's future me's problem. Oh, wait a minute. It's future me's problem right now.